Hey guys, it's Nicola. So this will be the intro until the 15th of October. I will be doing the pay per minute special again, guys. We do have some rules and regulations this time, okay? I will be taking phone reads for the pay per minute special as well as video reads for the pay per minute special, but you have to schedule your reading first. I will not answer a direct call. If you email me, I'll let you know when your time, when the slot is available, or if some, like I have some clients that do pay and then they get it later, I'll reserve that slot for you at that particular time. But this is first come, first serve, guys, okay? This is first come, first serve. When you pay is when you get your appointment or when you get your scheduled session. So we're gonna keep it at that. Um, I will not, like I said, I will not be taking calls because I had a couple people that called me last time and felt, felt like because I was on the phone that I was available to talk. No, that is not how that works. You have to schedule this session with me, but it is $1 per minute. So however many minutes you need, that's how many minutes you pay for. Um, you guys can reach me through my email, intimatewithsomtarot at gmail.com. It is not, guys, this special is not on my website. It is not on my website. So you have to come to me directly for the pay per minute special, guys. Um, just an update, we will be doing the live energy read, the special live energy read every Monday um, for the month of October. Um, and each Monday I will dress up as a different person or character. And you will have to guess the first three people to guess who I am. Every Monday when I do my live read, we'll receive a free personal read from me. For those of you that won yesterday, congratulations. I was Kermit for those of you that um, did not guess it. Got a lot of wild guesses. Um, some of them were really good, but I was Kermit, guys. I was giving you all the tea for the rest of the month so we're gonna go ahead and get into these reads hopefully you guys enjoy like i said for my new subscribers hey how y'all doing for my old subscribers what's up peace i love all of y'all um damn it i love all of y'all that's all i got peace hey, our signs it's nicola so let's see what we got this is for october the 11th oh and somebody, someone asked what cards i was using i am using the halloween oracle deck for my guidance by stacy demarco and the Halloween Tarot by Kippy West. Did I say his name right? Kipling. I knew it wasn't right. Kipling West. My apologies, Mr. West. Mrs. West. I'm not sure if that's a woman or man. I think it's a man. Kipling sounds like a man's name. I'm not sure. You never know nowadays. Okay, so let's see what messages we have. This is for my fire signs, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus messages for Sagittarius Aries Leo Sun on Rising and Venus October the 11th 2018 Sagittarius Aries and Leo Sun on Rising and Venus October the 11th 2018 all right so let's get started Someone may not be happy, uh, may feel like they missed an opportunity, may be gaining some independence, emotionally feeling drained within a situation, not of wands, moving um, in a new direction, moving to our passion, reevaluating where you're moving to, what you're putting your passion in, doing what's right, star card, wish fulfillment, seven of pentacles, being out of stagnation, seven of cups, being confused. Um, some of you guys could be confused about an Aquarius, um, King of Swords here needing to look out for assistance to release some fears and move forward. All right, so some of you guys can be dealing with legal issues. Let's get this reading started. You're not happy though. You're not happy about your foundation and you're wanting to move forward. So let's see why this star card is here. Could be talking about wish fulfillment. Could be talking about um, looking into the night. Star card. Why is the star card here? Eight of Pentacles. Star hoping to work on something. Okay, so some of you guys are needing to choose to walk away from a dream. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Actually, it's not in reverse. Y'all know I saw this nine and thought it was in reverse. So maybe with the nine of pentacles here, me feeling like it's in reverse, you're not confident about your own foundation. So some of you guys are needing to find balance within yourself, find balance with whatever you're hoping and dreaming. Make a decision um, and allow transformation to happen to whatever is making you disappointed. Six of swords, you need to move forward. Seven of pentacles, why is the seven of pentacles here? So we have the knight of pentacles. The Ace of Swords, being at a stagnation, 
needing to nurture yourself, needing to nurture your own responsibilities, needing to focus on your path, uh, page of wands, really needing to, you need to be authentically you right now. Meaning, don't let nobody dim your light. Whatever you're dealing with, whoever you're dealing with, that this is kind of detached, chopping, sharp words type of energy here. Maybe trying to lower you, trying to make you feel depressed, trying to make you feel lower. Um, trying to take away this. They're not happy about your image. They're not happy about the nine of pentacles dependent. Um, beautiful. Like, look at this nine. Of, look at this woman. They're not happy about this, about what you represent. The beauty, this is male or female. The beauty, the independence, the strength, the confidence. Someone's not happy about that. This person is not happy. They feel like people are laughing at them. So this can be your counterpart. They may feel like that you're outshining them. You're higher than them. Whatever the case may be. It has you worried about the state of the relationship. But it also has them worried um, about what they're investing in you as well. Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? You need to handle your responsibilities. Seven of Cups. Putting an end to that confusion. Four of Pentacles. Holding your power to move forward. Could be dealing with the water sign again. Again, Aquarian energy at the bottom star part. Wish fulfillment. Um, ending the stagnation and moving forward. Some of you guys are confused about how to move forward. How to find success moving forward within the situation. King of Swords. Why is this King of Swords here? It's uh, on your mind, needing assistance, reaching out for assistance. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We got the Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords with the Ace of Swords. So, reach out for assistance. You need to go find some assistance. Um, some of you guys are needing assistance moving forward, needing assistance getting toward a new opportunity, a new job. Life-changing things going on. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Only thing missing is the Ace of Cups. So, you got a lot of major things happening in your life, but whatever this is here... This wish here is blocking you from the true wish, which is the Ace of Cups, because that is what is missing. So you're moving. You got all these good things here, but you're still searching for the cup. So you're moving away from the other shit to get to the cup. Moon card, releasing the fears, searching. Nine of, hmm, some of you guys need to find the strength to see clearly and go after what it is you deem love some of y'all looking for love this is what you're fighting for you're looking for love you're looking for love you want to give birth to that but you're tired of fighting in the situation that you're in so maybe you thought you were manifesting love um but you may have manifested a dream or an illusion but you want love so let's see what guidance we have okay y'all y'all reading kind of quick my apologies y'all Look at that time. I'll be trying to make them quick. Some of them come out quick. Some of them don't be so quick. Um, my apologies. But my fire signs usually is quick. Because y'all be, be on it. <laughs> y'all energy be so wow. All right. So let's see what guys we have. Some of y'all just need to reevaluate the situation and do what's right for you. No one else. What messages do we have from my fire signs? Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, October the 11th, 2019, with Matthew for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, October the 11th. All right, so we do have underlying energy regret there are some regrets that you feel right now you need to understand that there are infinite possibilities you may be at a state of stagnation maybe at a pause but it's just so that you can really find out who you truly are what you truly desire and make changes according to that so you're seeing what you need to see in this pause of winter within your life so that you can understand that you can change your life and you have an infinite amount of possibilities or avenues that you can take don't get lost in this situation living in in your regret um be authentically who you are good or bad that's all i got peace y'all